everybody, welcome back to Jimmy. It's promo. Today is August 16th and Samsung just pushed off its very first software update to the brand new Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now, both of these ones don't really show to be too large of size, so I don't know for sure what I'll actually find, if anything, with this update. Maybe it's just going to be a brand new security patch, but I will also take a look at the Samsung security page to see what they have to say. We'll also take a look at the Google Play Store, see if there's any updates there, as well as the Galaxy Store itself. Now, if you own the Galaxy Z Flip 5 or Fold 5, you do want to take a look at this update. Sometimes it is a way to kind of make your phone run a little bit more smoothly. Maybe it'll help with the animations. Maybe it'll help with your camera. Maybe it'll help make the processing of all of your images that you take to go a little bit quicker. You just want to go inside of your settings and then underneath settings, go to the very bottom where it says software update. And then you want to go to download and install. So if you haven't checked just yet, these ones are brand new for a brand new update here. So if you own either of these two devices, they both end in the version ending in A, W, H3. The Flip 5 is right around 377 megabytes and the Fold 5 is 393 megabytes. So we're just going to go through, we're going to install these. These have already been downloaded. Once I install them, we're going to go back a few of the different Samsung applications and services to see again what is new, if we can find anything at all. But it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if your brand is new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. So let's start off by looking at the home screen. Sometimes it'll, this will help with animations or moving applications around. Now, both of these have the exact same versions of the home before this update. They also have the exact same versions of the update themselves. So whatever we would find on one of them, we're definitely going to find on the other. So this one before the update was 1450117. So it looks as if this one right here is the exact same version for Samsung Home. Then we're going to take a look inside of the camera just to see if there's a newer version here. Now before the update, the camera was 1310169. So it looks like it's the exact same here, 1310169. Now next up, I wanted to take a look at Samsung Smart Switch just because you never know, you know, if they wanted to come out with a newer version after these phones have come out, if they were running into any problems. But the version of Smart Switch before the update was 37462. Looks like 37462, the exact same version sitting on these ones here. Now the one that we're taking a look at now is Samsung. Samsung messages. Some of you still may use Samsung messages. I use Google messages, but the version before this update here was 14.5.10.7. This one's 14.5.10.7. So it looks as if for what I was looking for, for those four different services or applications, I wasn't able to find anything that's brand new. So now that we didn't really find anything with those applications that I took a look at, which was only about four of them, now let's go inside of the Galaxy Store because a lot of times there is gonna be something added in here. Maybe some of these were updated as you did the update to your phone itself. So we're gonna go, we're gonna click on Menu. Then we're gonna go inside of updates and we're gonna see what we have sitting here. So it looks like over here, we just have the shop Samsung application. Over on the Fold 5 over here, it looks like we have the nearby device scanning. So it looks as if uh, there's a pop-up disabled for Samsung child support and then stability fixes. So it looks as if they were able to fix, you know, if you're looking for something with Wi-Fi Direct or Bluetooth, NFC, whatever the case, Samsung Capture. So they fixed an issue in which writing or drawing with the S Pen intermittently did not work well on the required image. So it looks as if there's a new version for the Samsung Capture. And then next up, we have one for modes and routines. And then for Samsung Health, it looks as if a feature to use skin temperature for menstrual cycle pr prediction is supported with labs. So Galaxy Watch 5 only available in some countries. So it looks as if there's a few updates sitting inside of here. That shop Samsung app is mostly just doing updates to kind of give you the newer deals or the updated deals that's happening on samsung.com. So now let's head inside of the Samsung mobile security notes, basically letting us know everything from the background, what was updated with this one, if it was moderate or critical, high, whatever. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head on uh, inside of the about phone. Inside of About Phone, I went inside of Software Information. I tapped on that Android security patch on the very bottom. And so from here, we're just gonna go inside. We're gonna take a look at the specific notes for Samsung devices for the month of August. So we're gonna go inside of Samsung. So here you can see that it's for August of 2023. Now the ones on the very top, these are all relating to Google. So these are the Google patches. Now these, we have two of them that were critical. Looks as if easily about 40 or 60 of them or 50 of them, probably about 50 high. 
and we have one that is moderate. And then below here, this is everything that is coming from the Samsung side of things. So this is the Samsung Mobile, uh, the Samsung Vulnerabilities Exposures. And as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at what they were able to fix, when they're able to fix it, uh, when they first noticed and reported, and then when it was also fixed. So, you know, going through here, you can see, you know, some of these just doesn't really mean much to, you know, much of us. We can't really read exactly what some of these are meaning. Uh, looks as if something about an authentication configuration one. Uh, but yeah, so it looks as if we have probably a, about a good 20, maybe 17 of them sitting right here. So on the Samsung side of things, on the back end, there's about 16 to 17 different updates that we can see here at least. And then when it comes down to the Google side of things, there's quite a bit. So yeah, there's a lot more that kind of happens behind the scenes with some of these monthly updates rather than just seeing a regular updated monthly security patch. I was trying to find other updates between the camera and a few other locations, wasn't able to find anything. So it looks as if those are just running properly in the way that they should all the way through this month, especially with the August patch being installed. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. Again, this is the very first software update for the Flip 5 and the Fold 5. Pretty boring, but at least we're able to see a little bit on the back end, nothing on the forefront. But if you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.